Why is it so blurry? Woof. Oh, well, probably because it needs to be wiped. Whiskey sour in your breast. Don't want you in your Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with Sarah today, so hi. hi. We are going out to, I think, Spittle and then maybe exploring Connemara and then we're gonna go fly our drones at a castle later. So lots to come up, so keep watching. So we're in Spittle area now, but we just went into this shop. I didn't take any pictures or videos, but it's very, very cute. Just walking down to Spittle Beach now and we're a little bit chilly actually. It's a bit breezy, even though it's super sunny. Out. That's an exaggeration, because it is like 16 degrees it's out. It's freezing. But it got goosebumps. Slight exaggeration, but would we expect any different from Sarah? No. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like a bit breezy, but it's because we're by the water, and I'm definitely a person who likes hot weather, so that obviously. If but yeah, no it's breeze, it'll be boiling. It's just the, the, the Atlantic air is quite cold, you know? Anyway, slight exaggeration, but. Wild Atlantic, Atlantic way for a reason. Oh, look at this little cute cottage. But yeah, we're just walking down there now. I think we're gonna try and grab a bite to eat. So we are just up here at this little villagey town. What is this thing called again? But anyway, we're gonna take you around the shops and show you what there is here. So Sarah and I visited here a few years ago. She's come here obviously more often than me. They've been closed close for a while. Here. Yeah, she's very close. We came here a few years ago and there was actually like no one here that day we came yeah, here. It was very really nice. Not a lot of people here, but a few people. And now we're just on a Tramore, Tramore Beach? Tramore, like Irish. Tramore, like the Irish. Beach, Irish. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna not fly the drones anyway, but um, just go walk around and get some videos. Just dipping her feet in to see how cold it is. <laughs> we're going to catch the sunset, and Sarah has forgotten her, her camera. on our way to Menlo Castle now to try and get some footage on the drones. I seen a drone shot and I wanted to go there to get uh, some footage on the drones. So I just got a jacket out of her car and we are heading there soon. We're very excited to get some cool sh shots. Even what? with the windows open, the smell of fish in my car. What's that? What, so what's wrong with your car, sir? <laughs> <laughs> You can kind of just walk around in here like there's no no uh, security barriers or anything like that so obviously if you're here be careful don't be going jumping over things and um, get yourself hurt because you know you can get hurt but yes you can just walk around these ruins which is pretty cool it's actually a great spot if someone's coming to visit Ireland they actually want to go into ruins that are not like boarded up because a lot of like really cool castles and stuff around Ireland a lot of it is like boarded up and you can't like go inside and stuff like that so it's actually really really cool that you can do that here
other side of Menlo Castle and it looks right out here onto the river. Yeah, look guys, someone obviously is in something romantic here. Something very romantic indeed. This is the River of Carb. What? <laughs> Hopefully you've seen some good drone clips of Menlo Castle in this video if they came out good I haven't looked at them yet but this is Menlo Castle and we had such fun uh, taking some cool shots around here Sarah took some pretty cool pictures with my fake designer bag which you might see if I had the video up already if it is I'll link it down below but yeah it's actually such a nice place we were definitely judging the people who were camping and um, you're not meant to camp here there's like literally signs that we were saying no camping and they were having a um, bonfires out so I was not impressed but oh well Sarah's just emptying out her SD card making sure she has her stuff ready but yeah it was really good and I hope you enjoyed the clips and just to I heard Sarah say it and just to say so it takes about maybe like 10 minutes not even to get here from Galway City you just have to go up some uh, roads you can walk out here and we saw like a kind of shortcut what's that parking lot called? Which, which parking lot is a shortcut way? Oh, so it's basically when you're in town you can walk by the black box which is like a theatre rather than walking the way the road takes you. Yeah, and then you can get here pretty quickly. Um, what I will do is I will leave a pin drop. I'll, pin a, I'll drop a pin on Google Maps and I'll link that exact location down below so you know where to go. Um, I'll just do it right at the entrance and you basically just walk in the entrance, you walk down this little path and you walk straight up to Menlo. It takes about two minutes. So if you have a lot of gear or anything, that's grand because it's not too bad for carrying stuff. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed Menlo Castle. Well, sorry, I didn't want to jump over that with my bag. I was going to go this way and she's like, no, no, we'll go over it. So she could film me and then she went the easier way. So for anyone wondering, we did just park right here. I don't know if this is like you're allowed to, but it looks like a lot of people are parking. So we just parked here. <laughs> Okay guys, so it is Monday evening and I am heading home from Galway. Unfortunately, my weekend has come to an end. I'm very sad and um, I'll miss Sarah because I'm probably not going to see her for a few weeks still. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun exploring some places in Galway I hadn't been. I love all the footage of Menlo Castle that I got. Um, I'm sure you've already seen it in this vlog. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my god, that was so shit! <laughs> so that's it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bleh. Fuck off. Why the fuck? Look how fast it is.